Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for your uh, for joining us this afternoon to present and uh, to discuss our project, uh, our pro graduation project. Before starting, I want to thank uh, Mr. Baziz, our provisor, and uh, Gil for his professional attitude and his disponibility and for uh, his confidence that he shows on us for the first day. And uh, I want to thank also uh, Ma'am uh, Kautar Kohaish for her uh, contribution in uh, this work. Um, and thanks goes also to members of the jury, Mr. Ogumo and uh, Mr. Matish. And I want to, I want to thank also my partner, uh, Mr. Tufir Kassiz, for his uh, flexibility and his uh, hard work during our co-work. Taking in consideration some circumstances, we are going to introduce our project in French, then the rest of it is going to be in English. Euh, les activités industrielles et en particulier la, la synthèse des pesticides génèrent à plusieurs composés phénomènes considérables du produit sol et des eaux. L'élimination de ces composés phénomènes par des méthodes physiques et chimiques est considérée moins efficace que qu'autre Par contre, l'utilisation d'un système biologique est euh, une solution durable euh, pour la gestion des euh, composés. Les, la phytoremédiation basée sur les enzymes, en, parti, les ox, en particulier les oxygorédoctases, comme euh, les pyroxydases, est une solution du choix écologique reconnu en, euh, connu en regain d'intérêt. Le choix du système de phytoremédiation doit, euh, doit prendre en considération deux composantes essentielles. La première, c'est la nature de polluants chimiques, est-ce qu'il est organique, non organique, et phénolique ou autre. Et aussi, il faut prendre en considération le type de la plante ou bien l'espèce de la plante. Il doit être adapté aux conditions environnementales du site contaminé et aussi avoir une quantité suffisante de pyroxydase. Euh, merci pour votre attention. The thanks goes to my uh, colleague uh, Saïd Saidi. Uh, therefore, we are here to introduce our final year project about uh, fetal remediation titled Removal of uh, Phenols from Wastewater Using Plant Peroxidase Towards an Enzyme Basic Fetal Remediation. Therefore, I would start, I'd like to start my uh, presentation about a little introduction of uh, the increased anthropogenic activities that leads to the generation of uh, a wide variety of organic and unorganic products that uh, possess a harmful effect on environment and hazardous effect on the ecological equilibrium. Among uh, those, uh, among those uh, uh, pollutants we find phenols which are the major problem we are uh, treating through this uh, work. Phenols, they are polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that present a benzoic core with uh, at least one hydroxylic group. They are present naturally, such as ebenol and metoxyphenol, also called uh, gayagol, and we also found ambitious phenols such as pantachlorophenol, 2,4,6,3 chlorophenol and 2,4 dichlorophenols. They are, these compounds they are associated with low biodegradability, poor solubility, high toxicity, and long term persistence in the environment, which encourage the development of conventional methods, which are physical chemical treatments that use to uh, detoxify, to get rid of uh, contaminants from, in the, from the environment, such as absorption, unactivated carbon absorption, chemical oxida oxidation, and uh, also solvent extraction. Therefore, the scientific community has devoted a great attention to the development of biological treatments included in the bioremediation fields, which uh, explore the use of uh, living organisms and the secondary metabolites in the remediation 
of uh, contaminated sites, especially with phenols. Among those bioremediation biotechnology, we find the fetal remediation, which is a plant-based based biotechnology that uh, use plant and their associated microorganisms to clean up contaminated sites such as groundwater, wastewater, soil, and even atmospheric fields. This uh, biotechnology explores the plant and general genetic potential to uptake, assimilate, and detoxify a wide range of organic pollutants and uh, organic and unorganic pollutants, removing them from the environment, mentoring against their dispersion, and creating sustainable, eco-friendly, and low-cost approach to deal with the problem associated with environmental pollution. Phytoremediation can occur through a lot of processes such as phyto extraction, which consists of extracting metallics and radionuclides in the short parts of the plant. The complete removal of those elements from the environment can be achieved by a simple harvesting process of plant. But also phyto volatilization, which consists of uptaking the pollutant by the roots and transport it to the shoots. Uh, where it occurs a transformation process by evapotranspiration to gases form that will be evacuated. In, uh, in practical part, we are going to talk about two experiments. The first one is a test of enzymatic activity, which tested the different uh, species of plants, uh, phenols, bacteria, which is Pantheid, uh, Nerium, Lander, Lander, and Pontiaficus uh, indica. It's a uh, cactus, actually, it's a new uh, Mediterranean salt bush, and all I know here yeah, is life. Uh, for the protocol experimental, we have weighed the vegetal materials at, at the first stage. Then grinding of vegetal matter in non denaturated condition, then uh, centrifugation, and finally the measurements of the infrared safe and deep nanometers. As the figure shows, it's a diagram of enzymatic activity in a diagram of fish matter in different species. Both parts of the plant page shows the high level of enzymatic activity in the roots and the leaves. This difference between the both the two is due to the, the contact play, play between the roots of the plant page and the wastewater. And also uh, due to the potential genetic of the plant and uh, the aridic climatic.